the reality of my hair dawned on me. All right. I had a one and a two. It'll be fine. I look like I'm mourning. Plus, you know the fact that I don't wear earrings? Oh, this is such a headache. I can never stop till my goals going, going, going. I can never stop till my goals going, going, going. Hey, babies, welcome back to my channel. It's my first chit chat with you guys. I'm very obsessed with my hair. I'm obsessed with growing it. I'm obsessed with what works for me and what doesn't work for me. I kind of damage my hair more than it needed to be damaged as we all know my hair is processed like it's relaxed I've done the video where I did the rest of the treatment my hair was very beautiful then very obviously had spit ends and I didn't trim it too much then we list all the things that I did wrong in my regimen um and why we're here today <laughs> this is my hair um before I did the big cut I'm not calling it big chop because I had no chop over my hair. It was about 14 inches. The back of my hair was growing beautifully, but instead it was my crown area and my sides here that decided to start falling off. One of the first things I made a mistake with when it came to my hair was I stopped following my own regimen in the pursuit of long hair. Like I wanted my hair to be like this way, literally. I started researching and looking for what I could use for my hair to enable it to grow and stimulate growth. Now, this girl I came across on YouTube and one of the things she had suggested was less manipulation. She was like, oh, you know, you braid your hair, keep it in little cornrows, little protective styles and leave it like that for months on end and then take it out. There's probably stuff that she did in her own regimen that I, were, I wasn't doing in mine, which kind of was the problem. So last time my hair was really good was like in June. I made these braids after which like my hair got chopped off a little bit there because we accidentally like cut part of my hair when we we're doing the style whatever right in my head I was like okay we'll grow back it's not that bad September or August I braided my hair in cornrows like that um, YouTuber had suggested left it in for months like I'm talking like maybe three months or two I think two by the time I took out the hair the two sides of my hair here had already like ripped off literally my hair is very weird Whenever I relax it, it's like I'm relaxing new hair. Like instead of my hair that's already on my head to grow longer, I'm getting new growths. It's just I don't get why my hair does that, but it's, it's always done that to like so the root of my hair is always full compared to the bottom of my hair. Once I did that to my hair, and by the time I took it out, I realized that it wasn't new growth that had come out, it was that my hair had actually ripped. So when you would open my hair to that spot, you would not really see hair there technically you could pull my hair you could pull like a strand from right here and it would be like this long and then you would pull a strand from there and it would be like maybe like here like i said i cut my hair there like i long mowed my hair basically or i clippered my hair but i was like okay maybe it's not that bad I stretch out my relaxer for six months i relaxed my hair again in december it worked for me before once i started doing more things i could retain that fullness of my hair when i relaxed it the only issue was i was relaxing my hair from the soul from the roots all the way to the tip which was not good because then i was over processing my hair so that was my second problem so this is my hair in 2019 and 2020 so my already damaged hair was getting more and more damaged tell me why i make my hair again these butterfly locks but the mistake i made again was that i used dreadlocks attachment to make the hair like the bottom of the hair i think i carried that hair for about i want to say three months maybe four because i tend to stretch out my hair which i've been doing for a long time so it's not as if i just started doing it and now i'm seeing the effect of it right i did that and then like two months in i could just see like the middle of the crown of my hair just become like the sides from doing cornrow for three months you think i would learn so at this point i'm like okay there's something wrong with my hair and then i take out that hair it wasn't time to relax the hair yet you know when you just put your hair in a bun I put your hair all together like just all the way to the back you can just feel how light the end is you can just feel it and you're just disgusted by it that was me it would just feel like it was only my back hair i was packing so today what we did was we straightened the hair thanks rice and rice really helped me straighten the hair dedication she almost burnt my scalp but we moved this was the final result so from here you can see that this 14 inches i'm talking about that's literally what my hair was meant to be at if all of it grew properly but it didn't so that's what brought us to this video that we're doing today because the one day i was like okay i want to drop my hair i told Opet to like take a picture of what my hair looked like from the back and the reality of my hair dawned on me so this was what my hair looked like from the back 
you literally could see the shirt I was wearing from the back of my hair because literally it was only my back hair that was there the rest of the hair was hanging at the back of my neck I feel like I need to do a trim now I don't need to cut my whole hair I can just trim off the dead ends and start afresh from there like let it grow together I was supposed to go to a barbing salon but I was really so ashamed of my hair i don't know why and i really wanted it to be done at home in my own convenience i didn't want to go there and start crying so this is my hair when we started cutting uh, before we started cutting the hair and this is the result now coco helped me cut the hair we went from layer to layer we watched i already watched like a thousand and one videos about cutting and trimming hair um to help her understand how i wanted it to be done honestly guys my expectation for this hair now is that it's able to grow nice and better it really hurt and i felt like if i went to a bathroom salon i would have cried during the cutting and i think the only reason why i didn't cry was because i wasn't really paying much attention to Cordy while she was cutting the hair she just had to take a couple of pictures to show me the progression of how much hair she had cut off and if i wanted her to cut more or not i'm really grateful with the outcome and um, i did it i'm really proud of myself that i did it i really struggled to accept that i had to cut my hair right now my hair is 10 inches i went from 14 inches hair to 10 and i'm fine with it i'm okay with it i love my hair it looks beautiful even if I'm not wearing it and rocking it right now. If you're thinking of trimming and cutting your hair or if doing a big chop, honestly, just go for it. It's rather that you have a healthier hair than you have length that is not healthy for your hair. I just realized that I should have sat down for this video. All right, that's the little shebang. Thank you so much for joining me today for this little story. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to this channel. Remember, stay glued, don't stress, stay tuned for more updates, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace and love. Bye. Like I woke up on a mission. And you won't see me stop till I'm winning. So I can never stop till my goals go.